Hello, Mr. Savage. How are you? How's it going, Emily? Um, um, are you at school right now? I am at school, yes. Um, so I'm a reporter for our high school newspaper. And yeah, our teacher wanted us to try and get an interview with, yeah, one of our biggest inspirations. So I thought I would reach out. Um, I'm a little nervous, so. <laughs> um, I'm, I'll tell you, I'm so flattered. That's so <laughs> nice. I can't believe this works out. Every once in a while, like social media is like kind of cool. So uh -huh. I saw your thing and I was so impressed by your, your, your reaching out. And um, so I'm so glad it worked out. And, I, and congrats to you for reaching out, working, you know, reaching out to my assistant, working it out with her. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's, it's my pleasure. Don't be nervous. You're doing great. <laughs> well, and, um, uh, tell me what I can, what, how can I help? So my first question is the reboot of the wonder years is set to debut later this month. How do you feel about this and how did you get involved in it? You know, we have been working on this since I think, I first sat down with Saladin, who is the writer who created this new version of The Wonder Years. We sat down together in like January of 20, like right before everything just went crazy. Uh -huh. um, and uh, so we've been working on it for like uh, about a year and a half. Oh. And the fact that it's finally here and out and we can share it with people, it's incredibly gratifying. It just represents so much work and um and just passion and uh and hurdles and obstacles to overcome so i am I'm, I'm incredibly excited it's going to be premiering well that's awesome i'm very excited to watch the new the reboot so <laughs> my next question is i wanted to ask what your relationships are like with the cast of the wonder years actors and actresses are today you know actually one of the nice kind of byproducts of doing this again now uh -huh. is that I've reached out to them. Oh, yeah. Because, um, so we've, we've, we've always kind of stayed connected in some way or another, checking in a few times a year, or like Josh, who plays Paul on the yeah. original. You know, he lives in New York, so when I'm in New York, I'll reach out. Or if he's in LA, he'll say hi. So uh -huh. we've definitely stayed in touch over the years. But one of the nice byproducts of this doing the show again is it's brought us back into each other's orbit in, um, in a more regular way. And that's, that's really been a nice, um, kind of a nice result. Yeah, that is good. Okay, um, what was life as a child star like and what lasting effects has it had on you? Um, I really enjoyed it. I had um, a really positive experience. Um, and I feel very fortunate for that because I know that's not always the case, you know, with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but what it was like, I mean, for me, it was totally normal. like. I didn't live like a big star uh -huh. life. I didn't live this crazy Hollywood lifestyle. I had regular friends. Yeah. I went to a regular school. I just, I just, um, you know, would go to work each day. That was kind of like, you know, I'm sure all your friends like have a thing. Someone's a track star and someone's uh -huh. on the debate team and someone uh, is it in the dance company or whatever. Yeah. That was just the thing that I did. And uh -huh. so um, for me, it was very normal. Yeah. Um, I mean, lasting effects. I mean, the biggest lasting effect is probably like my career in entertainment. Like it, it gave me a, you know, a, a, an entree into a field that I found I really loved and really yeah. enjoyed. And so, you know, I, I mean, I, I might be too, I, I don't know if there's any lasting psychological or emotional damage, <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, I think that for the most part, uh, it was really positive and it gave me this like entree into this, this new career that I, that I really love and enjoy. Um, so what I was saying, uh, I, I do think that like, I definitely credit my, you know, my parents and my family and, and my friends for kind of keeping everything so normal. But I also think that, you know, I think the, um, the idea or the notion of like a kind of a broken child star is definitely something that I grew up around. There were a lot of cautionary tales of like people that kind of came before me. But yeah. I think that, I think people who came up when I came up learned a lot from the previous generation of, 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 of kids of, of, on television or movies and were able to kind of learn from their mistakes and, 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 and hopefully make better choices. And I'm not saying that's been totally, you know, eradicated, but uh -huh. I do think that when you look at the people who kind of came up when I came up, and, and since, um, you know, I think that they're, 
it's really the exception rather than the rule of people kind of running it, running afoul of, you know, uh, the law or, 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 or any yeah. rule. <laughs> yeah. Not that it's not, not that it's not existed, but I, I do think, uh -huh. you know, we definitely learned lessons from people that came before us. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. And then if you have time for one more, um, I wanted to ask, what are you most proud of in your career? Um, that's a really great question. <laughs> um, I try not to stand back and look at things, uh, and, and have too much pride in, uh -huh. in myself. But I, I think that, um, I think that this is a, a, a a business that's you know very difficult to find foothold in and yeah. and very difficult to kind of maintain a foothold once you to manage to, to to create one for yourself and so i think that the fact that i'm just still doing it yeah i'm really proud of you know i i did my first commercial when i was six years old <laughs> and i'm 45 uh -huh. and so to have an almost 40 year career and yeah be able to still enjoy it and still do it at, at, you know, at a high level. And, and, and also that I've grown, you know, I've done, um, uh, you know, acting, directing, producing, creating shows. Uh, but the fact that I'm still in it, my career's kind of grown. I, I'm, I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud that there's kind of still a seat for me at the table. And with each passing year, I'm increasingly, surprised by and delighted by by that fact yeah well it's very admirable <laughs> i have to go to there's a rehearsal on set but i are, can i call you back in like 20 minutes or are you yeah. is this no yeah that's perfect do you have class i mean whatever <laughs> it's getting me out of physics so <laughs> oh wow well great congratulations <laughs> yeah. thank you um, so much